Physically, I was the weakest member of our social group. I knew it. They knew it. And we all knew that was why I was always included in camping and hiking trips to Alaska. Overweight and out of shape, I was obviously the designated sacrifice to any angry bears we might encounter on the trails. Or so it had always been. Two years ago, I became determined to get in shape, build up my muscle strength, and be at least second from last on the trails. To this end, I purchased a very pricey, fully computerized electric treadmill with hydraulic inclines and heart rate monitor to the tune of over $600. On my computer, I developed workout charts, which I posted on my bathroom mirror in plain sight of my husband and any grizzlies that may be stopping by to scout me out. The machine was flawless, except it was very noisy, making watching television or listening to music impossible. Nonetheless, I stuck it out for over a year working out two or three times a week for 20 minutes when the machine was set at a high incline. I didn't lose any weight, but my endurance improved dramatically. I tried to sell my doctor on the idea that my weight wasn't due to fat, but rather to bone density. He declined to comment. I think I saw his eyes roll. Just a little. I didn't care. I was definitely feeling stronger. Maybe I wasn't able to outrun a bear yet, but I felt fairly confident that I could take anything in the raccoon size range. So the exercise was working, but it was also very boring. As a boredom fighter, I began bringing my little green parrot, Jamaica, on my electronic walks. He really seemed to enjoy the motion and even learned new words and phrases faster. I didn't realize until it was too late that he had also become very possessive of the treadmill, as he had the computer that was in the other room where I kept his cage. Parrots have a personality trait that makes them possessive of anything they come in contact with frequently. So far, the bird had become attached to the computer, printer, radio, and the treadmill. My husband used to beg me not to put his cage in the bedroom bathroom because he would set up such a squawk in the middle of the night when my husband turned on the light. Obviously, he had laid claim to the Kohler Low Water Flush Series 600 toilet, and he undoubtedly came close many times to being flushed down the high-tech fixture in the wee hours. Another trait parrots have is bonding to just one person if they're not passed around to different people while they're growing up. My parrot was bonded to me and only me. So one day, when my daughter came into my exercise room to tell me I had a phone call, all the pieces for disaster were in place. First, Jamaica flew at my daughter, furious that she dared to come near his very own personal bear escaping machine. Then he fell like a rock in midair because his wings were clipped. This put him in just the right position to bite her little sockless toes. I flew off the machine to rescue either the parrot or my daughter. I hadn't made up my mind which yet. And going 2.5 miles an hour, I tripped over the electrical cord, propelling myself headfirst into the door jam of the exercise room, hitting the top of my head. Still moving, I careened into the door jam across the hall, putting a gash on my forehead, skidding my elbow, and whacking my knee. As I fell onto the floor in a ball of pain, screaming for my daughter to call 911, Jamaica became confused. Not knowing what else to do, he flapped over and gave me a firm bite on the inside of my thigh, drawing blood. Several examinations and x-rays later, it was determined that I had a spinal compression, a chipped vertebra, a slight brain concussion, and various scratches, bumps, bites, and bruises. It was four days before we were to leave on our trip to southeast Alaska, which naturally had to be canceled. As I rested on the couch, a cool compress on my head, a band-aid on my parrot bite, and my knee elevated with a cushion, it occurred to me that things didn't go as I had planned, but I had accomplished my mission. I would be safe from bears for another summer.